Alright. Here we go. We got somebody telling me to pass them up, which I don't mind doing. Probably because they don't know where they're going. I didn't when I first came up here either. I'm trying to find the street that I'm now on. I came up down here three times before I finally found it. Well, I had to ask somebody to help me find it. There's people that live on this road for 30 years that didn't know where it was. But I come to find out a lot of people around here that do live here, they don't really know anybody. They don't talk to nobody, you know. It's, people are, uh, they're just, they're not neighborly at all. Uh, very secluded. But that's what happens when you get drug infested problems. We're in the day of evil. You know, and that's what happens. You know, people have, you know, like it says, wax worse and worse. You know, and they don't understand what's happening. What's happening is spiritual. The farther you draw away from the Lord, the more this, you know, what you see. The closer you are to the Lord, the nicer things are. And uh, that's why I was saying, like with Israel, when he said your house is left desolate, well, it's going to get pretty bad for them. Right now, what they're going to be doing is fighting with the technology that the world provided. Yeah, they're going to be doing what Christ warned them about not doing. They're going to be doing it. Recompensing evil for evil. That means you've... Uh, you're letting uh, evil host you, you know. When you start doing things, taking vengeance, then these evil spirits can possess you. That's why you're not to do that. Don't. That's why Jesus said, vengeance belongs to me. He'll deal with it. When we do it, you open yourself, you let him in. You let the evil in. That's the last thing you want to be doing, man. Is letting the evil in. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> Things are going to be escalated, you guys. Things are going to be getting real intense. It's like a boiling, it's like a fire. It's a process that, you know, but this is where we're at. This is what's getting ready to happen. You know? Be at peace, man. Be at peace. Because this is what's going to happen. That deer is still here. Got a deer here. These guys ask me, how do you get rid of this deer? <laughs> only hanging out because you're here. I mean, it does come here. I just don't see it. It's only hanging out because people are around, you know? When people are around, it's around. Anyhow, I'll let you guys take a peek at it if you don't mind. That's what they do. Deer. Let's go take a look at this deer. Remember you guys, spiritual, spiritual activity, what's going on, okay? I'll let you see this deer. And then I'm gonna say, God bless everybody in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. What's this deer still doing here? Nobody knows why you're here. Is it because of hunting season? Are you hanging out here because it's hunting season? He said none of these guys have muzzle loaders. No, 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 no. 
There you go, man. It's hunting season here, man. But nobody's going to get this one because he sticks around people too close. <laughs>